How's it going, everybody? The Sharks' first game of the season just ended. They played the Arizona Coyotes in the opening night uh, for them. And yeah, so this, if you watch this game, you'd know this game was a very tightly contested game and also a very jam-packed, action-filled game. So the Sharks won by a final score of 4-3 to three in a shootout, so good first win of the season. Um, it, it looked pretty good. Martin Jones was the goalie for the Sharks. Darcy Kemper was the goalie for the Coyotes. And Martin Jones, he had he played pretty good. Only three goals allowed, um, 34 saves, and yeah, and 37, obviously, 37 save attempts. Um, so in the first period, um, Tomas Hurdle scored the first two goals of the game. Um, heading into first intermission, it was two to nothing Sharks, obviously, because he scored the first two goals. Um, Evander Kane had two assists, and he also had the Sharks' third goal of the game, um, which was in late in the game, and they were they would go up three to one. <clears throat> the The Coyotes scored on a power play. Um, I believe it was in the second period they scored on a power play. Um, it was three to one, and then it became three to two, and then with like three seconds left, Phil Kess I believe it was Phil Kessel, or a lot of people were whacking at the puck. I believe it was Phil Kessel that he hit it in to tie up the game with like three seconds left. No score in overtime. You go into the shootout and the Sharks win. Oh, yeah. And in overtime, one thing um, to remember is that um, the Coyotes had a breakaway. And it looked like it was going to be a goal. Like it was a it was a two on no, no people. It was two on zero. And the, the two Coyotes racing down, Martin Jones just gets an insane save. And you know that? The reason why, a main reason, I wouldn't say the only reason, but the main reason why the Sharks were so bad last year is because of the goaltending, right? They have a completely, well, they got rid of um, Aaron Dell and they replaced him with Devin Dubnik. He didn't play tonight, obviously. Um, but Martin Jones had some pretty good saves out there. And, you know, it, it wasn't a clean game per se, but, you know, I'll take it. Um, <clears throat> like I said, Phil Kessel um, had the goal. Um, the uh, Clayton Keller also scored for the Coyotes, as well as Connor Garland. Um, Darcy Kemper had a 9-1-4 save percentage with pretty much around the same as Martin Jones. Um, but good game for the Sharks. You know, I, I just, I'm happy to see them, you know, win that. Um, wasn't the cleanest game, like I said. Um, Sharks, I believe, um, will play the Coyotes again um, in their next game. Um, but you know, it, it's an interesting season. You know, they, they, we don't know exactly where the Sharks home games, um, will be. Um, like I, like obviously this is, this is considered an away game. Um, however, it was a good game. The Sharks had a lot of shots on goal. Um, uh, the most notable was Evander Kane. He was very aggressive. And obviously with the recent drama with Evander Kane, there was questions like, will he actually play for them with the whole, um, the whole debt, um, situation, but he had seven shots on goal, two assists, a goal and three points. So I'd probably get either give him player of the game or Tomas Hurdle because Tomas Hurdle had a three point night. Um, so that was really good. And so did Kane and you know, it was a good game and I I'm happy with the outcome and we'll play the, um, coyotes one more time. Um, they're kind of doing like a schedule format. Uh, on Saturday the 16th and so uh, I will do a recap on that and thank you guys so much for watching and go Sharks.